What's going on? How you doing, buddy? Oh, man, how you doing? So what's up, man? It's busy down there. Yeah, we just had a sales meeting, and uh, you have to see here. So what you got going on, man? You're from Montgomery? Um, Huntsville. Huntsville, so Huntsville, Huntsville. Huntsville. And what do you do? So I own an auto parts yeah. business now. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Um, so I worked for Toyota for a while, and I worked for a motorsports company doing high-end stuff. Yeah. And then ended up just doing that on my own once, cool. once that you know, I mean, because sure, yeah, a lot of the principles is for any industry. Yeah, and that's know? one thing I saw that you had said, like, do you think I would, I don't know if you'd crush it or sell it or whatever in any yeah. industry. I think ultimately, like, once you said that, it made me think, like, well, maybe as long, because all the fundamentals are essentially the same when it comes down to it. It's just learning the product in that industry and then just going through the same process. It's all relationships. Yeah. It's all, I mean, l low pressure is the new black. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like handling objections and always be closing and, you know, all that stuff I think is just going to just get thrown away Yeah. with technology. You know, I think technology is going to replace all the high pressure mm -hmm. salespeople. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, nobody wants nobody wants that uncomfortable. Nobody wants to deal with somebody who's trying to force them into doing something <laughs> a little earlier than they want to do it, yeah. or maybe they don't want to do it at all. But they're getting all this pressure, and mm -hmm. they're just like, they can just say, "Nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look online and see what I want." Thanks anyway. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And they're gonna kind of look online, and, and then boom, because they don't want to deal with a human that's gonna high pressure them. They're gonna resort to the technology. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think technology is going to replace the high pressure. It's interesting you say that because I'm sure you, I mean, I saw that you were following uh, Grant Cardone mm -hmm. and he meant, there's some of the videos that he does through there and you can tell it is very high pressure and he pushes that and he makes it really clear, but it just makes you wonder, like you said, how long will that last and, and how long will people want to put up with that before there'll be just another way that they can find their answer? I'm telling you, man, you mm -hmm. know, the high pressure guy may do more sales than me this year or something, right? Mm -hmm. But through the relationship building process, you're going to accumulate so many more people mm -hmm. that like you and are in, on your team mm -hmm. that over time you're going to crush that guy because nobody's going to stick with that guy. Nobody's going to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they're they. He might high pressure them into a deal, but then they're not going to do another deal with them because they didn't like being high yeah, pressure. It was a bad deal. Or yeah, a bad. It was just yeah, yeah, right. So they're not going to come back to him. Hmm. Whereas even if somebody doesn't do a transaction, I'm going to create the relationship, and then I got them, and I do that to everybody. Yeah. Now I'm accumulating this huge base of people that may do something in the future. And now all of a sudden, in two years, I'm doing three times the numbers to the high pressure guy. Mm -hmm. You know, so hmm. that's what's happening. You know, that's what's happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I am what I am today because I didn't mind.